Hi, welcome to another Google Plus Hangout with the PGA Tour. My name is DJ Bajowski. I'm social media coordinator here at the PGA Tour. Very happy to be joined today by John Isner out here at East Lake for the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola. John, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And uh, we're also joined by a couple of John's fans today. We have Ricky Rangel, uh, Mr. Rudy Weber, and Matthew Arias, who are going to ask a couple of very hard-hitting questions to John here. Uh, and without any further ado, I'll turn it over to Frontier, uh, who, who is sitting with John, and uh, we'll get started. Great. So, um, yeah, we're welcome, uh, John. He's a uh, tenth rate tennis player uh, in the world, and uh, competes on the ATP. You are a London Olympian. Um, so tell us a little bit about why you wanted to come out to the uh, Tour Championship by Coca-Cola today. Well, Coca-Cola invited me out here, and I've, uh, I've been very fortunate to have a, um, a great partnership with, with Coca-Cola this year. Um, you know, obviously, they have always had a, a huge hand in, in the 2012 um, you know, in the Olympic Games, and, and they did again uh, this year in London. And I was a part of their 8-pack um, you know, Olympian athlete campaign, and it was uh, such a big honor for me to be associated with uh, they're such an unbelievable company, it's like all of So they had to have me out here again, and um, you know, Atlanta is always close to, real close to home for me. You know, we're going going to school, uh, you know, at at Georgia for four years, so I wanted to come here, and uh, it worked out perfectly. Awesome. So we saw you grew up actually in Greensboro, mm -hmm. is that right? Mm -hmm. So uh, Sam Snead is kind of a big deal yeah. um, around the BGA Tour. Yeah. Definitely a legend. Um, did you grow up with uh, liking golf as much as you liked tennis, or did you play when you were little? I, I grew up liking golf just, just as much as I liked uh, tennis. I played like two primary sports with tennis and basketball, but I also I also liked golf a lot. The problem was I just wasn't wasn't, wasn't really any good at it. I was a lot better at basketball. I was a lot better at tennis. So um, you know, for me, I, I think I I think I chose the right sport. I think mean, I think going golf would not would not have been the, the the right avenue for me, but I, I chose the right sport and. Uh, this is this has a lot of tennis players actually really really enjoy uh, you know playing golf, watching golf, and and I'm you know and I'm the same uh, as far as that goes. So this is a great opportunity for me just to be out here and uh, and watch these guys compete uh, during the tour championship on Sunday. It's amazing. Oh great! So well, let's go to the first question from um, Ricky. Ricky is from Illinois. And uh, he says his dream doubles partner is actually Roger Federer, mm -hmm. but don't hold that against him because you've actually beaten <laughs> Roger Federer a few times. He's my dream doubles partner too, so <laughs> don't, uh, don't worry about that. All right. Well, good, nice to meet you, uh, John. Um, my actually, my question is uh, first one I have for you is I know you um, are a pretty tall player, and so um, was uh, tennis always your first choice, or if you didn't do tennis, what else would you do? Um, it was tennis and basketball for me. I mean, growing up, I played. I played everything. I played soccer, baseball, basketball, tennis. I, but when it got to like 14, 13, 14, my my two primary focuses were tennis and basketball. And then when I probably got to fifteen, I pretty much I had to choose one sport because the schedule just uh, conflicted too much. And um, for me, uh, it really was a tough decision. But I, I decided to go with tennis. I figured. Um, you know, my only goal out of high school was to, was to get a college scholarship, and I thought tennis was was to me the best. It was going to give me that best chance, and uh, and you know, and throughout my high school career, I worked hard, and I was able to get a scholarship to the University of Georgia. Um, but uh, when I was about 17, 18 years old, I started growing a lot, and I grew a lot more than I ever, ever thought I would. And someone would have told me that at 13 or 14 that I was going to be this tall, I honestly probably would have stuck with basketball. Yeah. But uh, fortunately for me, I've um, you know, I haven't experienced really any injuries from, from being tall or growing so fast. Uh, so I think uh, I think I chose the right sport playing tennis, and um, I'm very very thankful that I was able to. Uh, you know, I, I made the right decision. I hope. That's good. I agree with you, John. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> so going down the line, let's go to uh, let's go back to Rudy. There, you got the UGA uh, representing in the background. Mm -hmm. um, but again, your dream doubles partner also Roger Federer. He's, uh, so go ahead and, and ask your question, Rudy, and uh, to your fellow Bulldogs here. Uh, well, there, there there was a comment there after for Federer, John. I said if we had a chance to hit some balls, I would easily put you as my favorite doubles partner. Uh, I appreciate that. That's, that's Bulldogs got to got to sit together. I agree. So with that said, I gotta get I gotta get an early season prediction on how you think our dogs are gonna do this year. 
Well, um, I did very well. I don't know if you know, I was actually at the game last night. I was um, too. I was, I was at the Vanderbilt game, and I mean, although Vanderbilt is the, is the best team they'll catch the ever, I thought Georgia, Georgia looked very strong. I mean, they got they got two running backs that can, you know, they're going to be able to control the game by, by running the ball, and Aaron Murray can, uh, he can suck around the field. So I think Georgia should be able to soften a lot of defense stuff, you know, with their running game. And, you know, and now they're giving uh, a couple of players back from Central, and, and the schedule looks, looks pretty good. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's Georgia's uh, going to make a deep run, I, I think. Uh, I think this year is the year. So I'm, uh, I know I'm very excited. I'm sure all of uh, you know, Georgia Bulldog Nation as well. Hopefully, uh, I'll be looking for you in Miami. That's right. That's right. Are you, are you going to any games this year? I was there last night, and um, uh, I'll be at the South Carolina game, uh, nice. Auburn game, and probably a couple other home games. But uh, yeah, I see nice. you every once in a while, Adam, though. You going to Georgia Florida? Not this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, neither am I. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be in Europe, so I'll be watching that game from, uh, from my hotel room probably. Great. Um, one more question. Uh, let's go to Matt Harris in Austin, Texas. Um, Matt's a, a John fan, obviously, but also says he really likes Andy Roddick. And, mm -hmm. and I know that you have some history with Andy mm -hmm. at the U.S. Open and then, um, you know, said some really nice things about his retirement. So let's see what Matthew has to say. Well, first of all, I mean, uh, there's a couple of Georgia Bulldogs, so i got to give a shout-out to my Longhorns. Uh, oh, that's all right. At least, it's not, at least it's not Florida. Yeah, yeah, exactly. My cousin's actually a big Florida fan, so uh, Florida sucks if you ever see this, Richard. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but um, I just want to know what your thoughts are uh, that uh, after your career year in tennis, that uh, at the end you get to be the face of American tennis with uh, Andy Roddick retiring. I wonder if you've given that much thought, and uh, how are you going to go upon that next year? Um, I actually haven't thought about it much because, honestly, I know Andy said that he, he kept it a secret. That, that, that he was going to retire, he really did. I had no idea. Um, I had to, actually had a friend text me and said, you know, Andy's retiring. And I was like, what? I mean, I thought for sure he was at least going to play one more year. So um, it, uh, it took me by surprise. It took a lot of, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of my fellow players uh, by surprise as well. But uh, you know, being the number one ranked American right now, it's something I've, I've always strived for, you know, ever since I realized I was good enough to, to play at this level. Um, you know, and a lot does come with it. You know, whenever I lose a match, I'm sure I'm going to lose a lot more matches in, in my career. Uh, you know, they say that I guess the spotlight's going to be on me quite a bit going forward. Because for the last last ten years, it's pretty much always always been on Andy. So it's something that uh, I'm going to try to enjoy as, as much as I can. And the being the number one American right now, I don't want to uh, like give up that spot. So I want to be the number one American for, for as long as I possibly can. Oh, cool. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the Olympics. You just got done with your first Olympics um, ever, and I don't know if you know this, but golf is actually coming back to the Olympics yeah. in 2016. So, what uh, can you talk a little bit about what your experience was like for the you know being a rookie at the Olympics, going your first time, and, and kind of how you think that some of our golfers, even a golfer like you know Tiger Woods, who's done everything else in golf, you know that Olympics will be his first time if he makes the team. Yeah, well, I think Tiger uh, should be able to make the team in 2016. I think his game will, will be just fine. Then. Uh, but for me, um, yeah, the, the London games was, was my first Olympic experience. I just missed out on the uh, Beijing games in 2008. And I remember being a, you know, really devastated about that. You know, as a, you know, any athlete, you know, let alone think about it, if you want to be able to support your, you know, represent your country, sorry, uh, at the Olympic games. And, uh, so in you know, London was, was right around the corner. I was very, very excited, and um, it was my first ever Olympic experience. But I tried to try not to put any, you know, pressure on myself. I tried to just treat it as, as a normal tournament, and I think I did that pretty well. And I actually, you know, I I, I played well. Um, I made it to the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, I, I lost to Roger Federer um, in, in the quarters, and and really that, that you know, at the Olympics, you want to. Smoke the semis because you know you're gonna have two shots, uh, two shots at a medal. But for me, I, I came up just short there. But uh, the experience was, uh, it was, it was unbelievable. And if I, you know, still playing well in 2016, I'm, I'm gonna be looking forward to those games also. Awesome. Well, it'd be great to have you there and uh, representing Coca-Cola, and great to have some of our golfers there um, as well. 
how are you going to spend the next four years kind of getting your game in shape? Are you pointing back to those Olympics or just trying to stay on top of your game so that you're at that level again? Um, I'm just trying to stay on top of my game. I mean, when, uh, I guess the 2016 gets, gets closer, I'll start, I'll start uh, you know, thinking about those games. But, uh, you know, in tennis, uh, our sport revolves around um, our four grand slams, you know, just like golf. So, you know, those are the things everyone wants, wants to do. The wants to do their best at, and uh, the same goes for me. Um, now I've, I've had a I've had a breakout year so far here in 2012, and but I think uh, I think 2013, if I keep doing the right things, uh, you know, could be even better. Thanks. Let's go back to. Sorry. I have a follow up question on the Olympics. Do you think you'd rather, given how meaningful that experience was, would you rather win an Olympic gold or a Grand Slam or the Davis Cup? If that's you could a, win one of those. Uh, that's a that's a very tough question. Um, Unfortunately, I haven't had the opportunity to, to even be in a championship match for that. I know I I treat I treat the uh, you know the uh, team events. Um, I put a lot of significance on those. Whether I was when I was playing at Georgia, representing Georgia, um, you know, playing at Davis Cup, representing USA, or representing USA uh, at the Olympics. Uh, you know, it's it's really it's super tough, but. Um, you know, all three of those are, you know, all three of those events are, are, are very close to me. But uh, for now, I'm probably going to probably have to say Grand Slam because the Olympics are, are, are four years away. But also, I, I know I know that our uh, our Davis Cup team um, is, is, is looking real strong going forward. So I'm looking forward to that 2013 Davis Cup for now. So, right. so um, let's talk a little bit about golf again. Mm -hmm. Do you have a handicap? Yeah, it's five, I'd say like a 12 or 13. Not bad. It's not. It's not good though. I'm. 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 Like, but it's. I'm so streaky. I can anywhere from like an 84, 85 to you don't even want to know. So uh, I mean, I uh, sometimes I can't. I I couldn't hit a ball in the ocean. But sometimes I'm actually pretty good. But uh, I got I got to work work on my uh, consistency. But I uh, I live actually live on a golf course in Florida. So when I am home, it's albeit I'm not home that often. Um, I will get on the golf course and, and play as much as I can. So uh, you're out here. You're going to head to the first tee in a little bit mm -hmm. after this to watch some of the leaders tee off. So um, yep. do you have a tour championship prediction? Do you have a FedEx Cup prediction? Is it, you know, what do you what do you well, think? What do you want to see? I, I, I know that, what is it, there's three, four guys that if they win this, they, they take on the tour championship. Um, I, I don't know. I, I would love to see just, just like any golf fan, would love to see just an unbelievable finish. But um, I don't know, I, I guess the, for me, I would like to see the top two guys uh, in golf, which in my opinion right now is Rory and Tiger. I would like to see them, uh, you know, in, in, in the thick of things when it, when it comes down to, you know, 16, 17, 18. That would be a lot of fun. To, uh, to add to that, there's actually a scenario today where we could have Tiger and Rory in a playoff. You know, if they both play well today uh -huh. uh, and make up some shots, you know, they could be in a playoff for the two, Tour Championship. Mm -hmm. And they get that playoff would also matter for the uh, the FedEx Cup and that $10 million prize. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then there's also other scenarios where, say, Roy or Tiger doesn't win the tournament, but, uh, you know, like if a Justin Rose or Brant said it, uh, not Brant, but Justin Rose or someone who's not in that top five, yeah. we could have a playoff for the tournament or a playoff for the FedEx Cup yeah. or both. Yeah. Like, it's, it's insane what's yeah, going to happen there's a lot, there's a lot, a lot of stake today, and, uh, and it could be, it could be, Sort of golf cannot ask for uh, cannot ask for a better day too. It's about 73 degrees, not much humidity out here, so um, it's just a beautiful day. It's just be a, it's be a great day of golf. So. Did you ever get on the course with any of the Bulldogs um, when you were playing? And you you were at school when like Chris Park was there, yeah. Kevin yeah. Gosner, and Brian Harmon, who almost made it here to Atlanta. Yeah. Did you ever go out and play with them? I have. I played. I played with Chris Park. Chris is actually uh, he's he's one of my pretty good friends. I had a lot of classes with him, and I've gotten. I've also gotten. Although I didn't go to Georgia with Bubba Watson, I've gotten. I've gotten to know him pretty well. He's obviously. Um, the stop is losing quite a bit after that Masters win, so I'm always uh, I'm always pulling for uh, the uh, Georgia Bulldogs. But I, I want to keep it so There's quite a few of them actually. All right, okay. so, all right. going back to Georgia Bulldogs, we're going to go quick fire questions from Rudy, Matthew, and Ricky. So, uh, Rudy, we'll start with you. Do you have a quick fire question for John? Have you ever hit a hole in one? No. You? No. <laughs> yeah. Not me. My, my my dad has, and he's played golf. Probably ten times in his whole life. Oh wow. god! Yeah. So it's good on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. How about uh, Matthew? You got a quick fire question for John? Yeah, John, do you play uh, any fantasy football? Yes, I do, and I was just talking about that. Um, I'm staring zero and three in the face this week. Actually, oh, uh, no. yeah, it was. Um, I'm a I'm a big big Carolina Panthers fan. Yeah, I know. And uh, and I was actually at that game on Thursday night. 
Uh, and not only did they get blown out, but I also went up against uh, Andre Brown of the New York Giants. So I'm, I'm sort of uh, I'm sort of in a big hole right now. I'm, I'm the team so far that everybody is uh, scoring about 150 points on each, each week. I got to try to I got to try to remedy that. How about yourself? Uh, I, just, I got Matt Forte. He's killing me right now with his uh, his ankle. So well, I drafted Wisconsin. So oh yeah, well, there you I go. guess I can't full complain. <laughs> All right, let's go to Ricky. One last question for uh, John Isner. All right, um, is there anything uh, people would be surprised to know about you? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a really goofy guy. Just in general, I'm a pretty laid back guy, I guess to say. But I'm, I'm a huge dog lover. Um, anytime I see uh, any type of dog, that has to be. You know, I think all dogs are so cute. I don't know. That's just something I've always. Uh, our family's always had dogs, and um, you know anything. It's just something I've, I've always been drawn to. So I'm a big animal lover. Nice. Well, John, thank you so much for stopping by today. I know that you are aching to get out to that first tee yeah. and some watching golf. He actually made me. Uh, he wanted to see Phil before he came to uh, the hangout. He's like, "Let me just see Phil hit one yeah. shot." <laughs> so, uh, all right, we'll get out there, and then uh, you know, have a great day out here. Are you going to be sure. tweeting about it at all? Yeah, I will be. Okay. Yeah, I'll be tweeting. And how do they follow you? Uh. I John is there. Easy. Please give me a call. I appreciate yeah. it. Do you follow the PGA Tour? <laughs> I do. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for coming to the Hangout. Really All appreciate right. it. And, thanks, John. Uh, thanks, John. 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 Thanks,